we did finish up wrapping up Trevor's Evo uh, Evo 10 MR. So if you guys haven't seen that video yet, just go ahead and check it out. Uh, we go in a little in depth on what he's got done to the car and future mods. But this video is going to be about the differences between a rally art and an Evo. So we'll start here with the back. So if you look at my car, it's got the stock frame of a regular Lancer. There's no wide body or anything on it like that. Rear diffuser looks pretty basic. There's no spikes or anything. It is a dual exhaust. And then one other thing is this wing. This is not a stock Rallert wing. The Rallert has a low rise. I took it off and put an Evo 10s on here. I just like the style of that a little bit better. As far as that goes, I think that's pretty much it. Let's go look at the back of the Evo. So as you can tell, uh, the fenders come out a little bit wider, the body. All right, come a little closer. You can tell his diffuser, he has the spikes like I was mentioning. And then they do come dual exhaust as well. However, he does have the aftermarket NVIDIA uh, single exit on there. And, and then, of course, he's got that badass badge. So the Evos, they come with a high-rise wing, like I said, or they come with a low duckbill. I think MRs... MRs come with a duckbill. MRs come with a duckbill stand? No, they okay. do. And then I do have a wing drum. I decided to switch it up and put a wingless back on. Yeah, so it's all, all preference, you know, so... Some people like the clean, slick look. Some people like the little riser wing. All right, side view. Rather, I got first last time, so we're gonna go ahead and do the Evo first. So first thing you can notice is right here, if you go to the fuel door, that's gonna be different from the Rattler. I'll show you in a second. And then the fenders also flare out from the rear and the front. If you also notice, they come standard with BBS wheels. Pretty nice. And then, of course, you have to have that brake power to stop these things. And they come with a set of Brembos. A little cooling dam. I don't know the actual term of it, do you know? Yeah, just a little fender vent. Goes away from the brakes, so it pulls the brakes harder. So, so that's like one of the bigger things because no Lancer or rather it's going to have that. So if you pull up on the side of one, you can definitely tell just off of that. Um, and let's go ahead and look at the other car. And like I said, the fenders don't really pop out as much. And on these, you get a standard Lancer wheel. Um, yeah, they're Ankies. I don't really know the exact size. And as you can tell, regular little brakes. I believe they're the same ones that are on the Outlander Sport. Quote me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, that's the look of them. And they don't come painted like that. I actually did that myself. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. And then for the middle section, since I'm in the middle of both cars, I'll go ahead and show you guys. First things first, if you come down and look, this would be chrome normally. And this is a little bit different. And then the grill meshing is a little different. So these are, have like a honeycomb look to them, all right? And the rail art's gonna have a smaller intercooler. Um, fog lights, same thing. And then a peak of your headlight. Now if you look at the Evo, they have more room for ventilation and air to get through. So they have air ducts through here that allows more cooling air through there. And then they have like a fence liner. They don't have a honeycomb looking thing like my car has. Um, come with a bigger stock intercooler. And then hell horns, those are aftermarket as well. Headlights are the same, he just has his blacked out. And then the fog lights, which would be here, but are removed. That way more airflow gets down here. So as you can see, beforehand it used to block that, now he's all good with that. So that's pretty much gonna do it for the appearance differences. So if you ever pull up next to a car, you're not sure if it's an Evo or Rally or now you can kind of tell um, pretty minor differences, but if you're not too much paying attention to detail, you won't be able to notice. But uh, that's why I get asked the question all the time, hey, nice Evo, or is that an Evo? So hopefully that uh, helps you out. One last thing, actually, I just saw it, is the Rally has a Rally Art badge. It sits right up there in the corner, so. You won't be seeing that on an Evo. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and pop our hoods. You can see the differences under the hood and uh, just a little minor thing. All right, so here we have the Evo 10 MR. Upper intercooler pipe, basically almost the same as the Rally Arts. It is angled a little bit differently. He has a bigger turbo down here. It's a twin scroll, I believe, right? Uh, Rally is a single scroll. His blow-up valve, or whatever you want to call it, bypass valve is back here. Rattler is going to be located here, and then he has an air box 
no battery. This battery is actually in the trunk of this. And I think that's pretty much the main difference up here. And then here's the rally art. So, like I was saying, his upper intercooler pipe, basically the same. Just a smaller turbo. Well, I have an air box up here, which is, has a little longer snorkel, which goes right underneath the bat, or right over the battery. And then here is my bypass valve. It's up forward instead of towards the back like his was. Every Evo or Lancer owner <laughs> is gonna miss a clip. I'm missing a whole shit ton. So this snorkel, I had to originally like rip these out because it wasn't coming out. So yeah, every owner you find, I guarantee you they're missing something somewhere. <laughs> they're so cheap. Way to cheap out Mitsubishi. So Trevor actually pointed out one more thing too before we wrap up this video is the strut bars. So if you look at mine, it's just contacted by two ends right here. So we'll look at the Evo. So the two ends, right? But he actually has one more mounting point right up here. So that's a little attention to detail on his end. That's what happens when you're in the Marine Corps. You know, it's like every little thing. But uh, yeah, so nice engine bay, right? I don't think I got a good shot of you guys for the his intake. Short ramp, so it probably sounds pretty good. All right, so that's gonna about do it from out here again. And uh, I wanna say thanks for watching. So now you guys know the differences between the rally art and an Evo. Uh, slight detail on everything, um, not full in depth. I don't have like power torques and all that kind of stuff thrown in here. But as far as the appearances go, you guys should be set on that. And just the little minor mods that each car has and doesn't have. But uh, yeah, other than that, I wanna say thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.